Finally, the penny drops. Let's begin. It seems for years, doesn't it, that we're seeing countless celebrities on TV saying how wonderful the BBC is and how great value. The rip-off, in my opinion, TV licenses, despite it nearly being three times as much as Netflix Space Pack with ads. But the good news is their boss, Tim Davey, seems to, let's just say, have a change of heart about the way they currently do things, if this story is anything to go by. I wonder why that might be. Oh no! They're leaving us in droves! Quick! We must adapt! The article says that the BBC may go entirely digital by the end of the decade, according to the corporation's director general. In a speech this week, Tim Davies said that 100-year-old broadcaster needs to switch to an internet-only model to stay relevant. A switch off of broadcast will and should happen over time. The director general explained that the BBC should own a move to an internet future by 2030. Well, I don't know about you, but I personally think it's about time, and it's certainly good that he's starting thinking in that way. I mean, that does sound that he's more looking towards a subscription model rather than adverts, doesn't it? Although, of course, I could be wrong, because obviously on YouTube you have ads, don't you? Although that does make me wonder if once the BBC BBC has ended its live TV transmissions, if we'll finally be allowed to watch other TV channels live without paying them for the privilege. I mean, it's a bit like paying Asda to go shopping at Tesco's, isn't it, at the minute? It's just ridiculous. Although such a move is bound to leave OAPs or people without the internet unable to watch the BBC, isn't it? Which, to be honest, means they're very lucky indeed. However, seriously though, there are plenty of other channels I'm sure they could watch. But they shouldn't have to if they don't want to, and that will be an annoyance for them, unless the BBC plans for it properly. But speaking of which, with their own eye player it does make me wonder if they'll come out with an iPlayer Plus or something like that and if so how much that would actually be. I mean they can't make it more expensive than Netflix can they which as I said earlier the TV license currently is. So either the BBC will probably have to make cutbacks on things like Gary Lineker's salary maybe or open up to the rest of the world in which case they could make the price much lower because they'll get money coming in from all over the world and therefore it could benefit them in the long run couldn't it rather than of course sticking with the same old rip-off tv license in my opinion we must work together to ensure that everyone is connected and can get their tv and radio via the internet he added this isn't something to resist. Currently, iPlayer tracks around 12 million logins per week and accounts for 16% of all of the BBC's programme consumption. Mr Davey said that by 2030, perhaps as many as 2 million households will still be without a broadband connection. What's more, the BBC is also facing calls to scrap the licence fee from 2028. I just get the feeling that they're jumping before they're pushed. I mean, don't you? Which, to be honest, reminds me of this video about Amazon's response to a customer's nightmare order. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.